Good evening, Caleb, Braxton, and Ezekiel. I just wanted to say that I've missed you guys, and I will get to see Braxton and Caleb. I'll get to see you guys tomorrow. Today is the 22nd, Tuesday. So I'll get you guys tomorrow, which will be fun. Um, I'll think of something that we could do, like maybe go to the park. And for Ezekiel, I will be making video. I'll make a video for you tomorrow too, so that you can hear my voice, um, even though I'm not with you. So today we are gonna read um, Fox and Socks. And it has this little caption, which is pretty funny. Um, this is a book you read aloud to find out just how smart your tongue is. The first time you read it, don't go fast. This fox is a tricky fox. He'll try to get your tongue in trouble. Well, every time I read this book, my tongue definitely gets in trouble. So uh, let's not make fun of me. <laughs> um, I would like to start with the dad's creed. Um, I think that being a father is very important to me and I've always dedicated my life to you guys and I always will. You guys are the most important thing to me in the whole wide world and I promise you that. And I would do anything for you guys because I love you so much. And um, there's 20 things on the Dad's Creed and I would like to read to you guys the first 10 and then 10 tomorrow. So I will always be here for you. That's the first one. And I really mean that. Um, I know this is a video for you guys while you're young, but um, I will always be here for you even when you're older and you have your own kids and you guys have growing pains. And um, my mom was always there for me and I would like to always be there for you guys. Um, I will be strong with you because life is tough and it's true. We always have these um, barriers in life that we'll have to leap and bound over and sometimes those barriers are a little or those walls are a little taller than most and um, it's all about getting through it and it's great to have a good support and family and I'm always here for you back to one <laughs> um, the third one is I will I will really listen to you because you deserve my absolute attention and I believe that um, I know that as parents, we get caught up in things or our mind is on um, busy life that never ends um, or things that aren't that important to us, but I will always do my best to really listen to you and pay attention um, to your thousand questions, Caleb. And I'm sure, Braxton, the more you talk, you'll have a thousand questions for me too. And you too, Ezekiel. And so, um, I believe that you guys deserve my absolute attention. Um, I won't forget all the little things you've ever done. Um, <laughs> it's hard to keep track of three boys and all the silly things you guys do. Um, so I will try to remember all of those things. And some of those I can never forget. Like the picture I have, Kayla, when you first started walking and um, the video your mom took of us when I was um, riding you guys around the the neighborhood. Um, <laughs> I got to rig the wagon <laughs> to have a, a stroller on it and uh, I buckled you guys in. I made sure it was super safe and then I went super fast around the neighborhood. And so um, little moments like that I'll never forget. It helps to videotape things too. Um, so actually, I think I'll just read five a day. I think that'll be good. I'll spread it out. Um, so the fifth one is I will constantly think about how I can make you a better person. And to me, that's really important. Um, and that's part of the reason why I love working with the youth um, outside of being a father is because I think that you guys are our tomorrow. And I think that it's important to be a father that's always there for you and is always supportive. And, and I want to make you the best person. 
because my mom made me the best person I could be and other people in my life. And so um, I think Boy Scouts would also help because um, a scout is always trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. And if I could add some, I'd say responsible and dependable and um, appreciative. Um, and so I was, I'll always do my best to make you guys a better person or the best that I could. Um, it's going to be up to you guys to make your own choices. So, um, yeah, that's the first five. And I will read the next five tomorrow. Um, so I will start with the book, um, The Fox and Socks. Okay, so I'm totally going to butcher this, but I'll do my best. <laughs> Take it slowly. This book is dangerous. No joke. Fox and Socks. Fox Socks Box Knocks. Knocks in box, fox in socks, knocks on fox, in socks in box. Socks on knocks and knocks in box, fox in socks on box on knocks. Chicks with bricks come. Chicks with blocks come. Chicks with bricks and blocks and clocks come. Look, sir, look, sir. Mr. Knox, sir. Let's do tricks with bricks and blocks, sir. Let's do tricks with chicks and clocks, sir. First, I'll make a quick trick brick stack. Then I'll make a quick trick block stack. You can make a quick trick chick stack. You can make a quick trick clock stack. And here's a new trick. Mr. Knox socks. Oh, wait, I forgot to show the picture. <laughs> so that's the other one. All right. And here's a new trick, Mr. Knox. Socks on chicks and chicks on fox. Fox on clocks, on bricks and blocks. Bricks on blocks, on knocks, on box. So far, I think I'm getting it okay. Tick tock. Now we come to ticks and talks, sir. Try to say this, Mr. Knox, sir. Clocks on fox, tick. Clocks on knocks, talk. Six sick bricks, tick. Six sick chicks, talk. <laughs> Pretty silly. Please, sir, I don't like this trick, sir. My tongue isn't quick or slick, sir. I get all those ticks and talks. Ticks and clocks. There's my first one. Ticks and clocks, sir. Mixed up with the chicks and tocks, sir. I can't do it, Mr. Fox, sir. I'm sorry, Mr. Knox, sir. <laughs> I think I'd like to act this out. <laughs> Here's an easy game to play. Here's an easy thing to say. New socks, two socks. Who socks? Sue socks. Who sews who socks? Sue sews Sue socks. Who sees who sew? Who's new, who's new socks, sir? You see, Sue's, Sue sew Sue's new socks, sir. That's not easy, Mr. Foxer. No, it's not. Who 
Who comes? Crow comes. Slow Joe Crow comes. Who sews crow's clothes? Sue sews crow's clothes. Slow Joe Crow sews whose clothes? Sue's clothes. That's how they sew each other's clothes. Sue sews socks. A uh, fox in socks now. Slow Joe Crow sews knocks in box now. <laughs> I don't think Mr. Knox really likes that. All right. Sue sews rose on Slow Joe Crow's clothes. Fox sews hose on Slow Joe Crow's nose. Hose goes, rose goes, nose hose goes some. Crow's, no crow's rose grows some. <laughs> Mr. Fox, I hate this game, sir. This game makes my tongue quite lame, sir. <laughs> Mr. Knox, sir, what a shame, sir. We'll find something new to do now. Here is lots of new blue goo. Now, new goo. Blue goo, gooey gooey, blue goo, new goo, gluey gluey. Gooey goo for chewy chewing. That's what, that's what, <laughs> that's what that gooey goose is doing. Okay, so gooey goo for chewy chewing. That's what that goo goose is doing. Do you choose to chew goo too, sir? If sir you, sir, choose to chew, sir, with the goo goose, chew, sir, do, sir? Mr. Fox, sir, I won't do it. I can't say it. I won't chew it. Very well, sir. Step this way. We'll find another game to play. <laughs> Look at that face. Bim comes, Ben comes. Bim brings Ben broom. Ben brings Bim broom. Ben bends Bim's broom. Bim bends Ben's broom. Bim's bends Ben's bends. Ben's bent broom breaks. Bim's bent broom breaks. Ben's band, Bim's band. Big bands, pig bands. Boom! Bim and Ben leads. Bands with brooms. Ben's band bangs and Bim's band booms. Pig band, boom band. Pig, big band, broom band. My poor mouth can't say that, no sir. My poor mouth is much too slow, sir. Well then, bring your mouth this way. I'll find something it can say. I doubt it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Luke luck likes lakes. Luke's duck likes lakes. Luke luck licks lakes. Luke's duck licks lakes. Duck takes licks in lakes. 
Luke Luck likes. Luke Luck takes licks. In lakes, ducks, duck likes. <laughs> so Luke Luck takes licks. In lakes, duck likes. What a tongue twister. I can't blab such a blibber blubber. My tongue isn't made of rubber. Mr. Knox now, come on. Come now, come now. You don't have to be so dumb now. <laughs> Try to say this, Mr. Knox, please. Through three cheese trees, three free fleas flew. While these fleas flew, Freezy Breeze blew. Freezy Breeze made these three trees freeze. Freezy Trees made these trees free cheese. These, <laughs> see, these trees cheese freeze. That's what made these three free fleas sneeze. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! That's enough, sir! I can't say such silly stuff, sir! Very well then, Mr. Knox, sir. Let's have a little talk about Tweedle Beetles. <clears throat> what do you know about Tweedle Beetles? Well, when Tweedle Beetles fight, it's called a Tweedle Beetle battle. And when they battle in a puddle, it's a Tweedle Beetle puddle battle. And when Tweedle Beetles battle with paddles in a puddle, they call it a Tweedle Beetle puddle paddle battle. And. <laughs> When beetles battle beetles in a puddle paddle battle and the beetle battle puddle is a puddle in a bottle, they call this a tweedle beetle bottle puddle paddle battle muddle. And that looks like fun. <clears throat> when beetles fight these battles in a bottle with their paddles, and the bottles on a poodle, and the poodles eating noodles, they call this a muddle puddle tweedle poodle beetle noodle bottle paddle battle. And <laughs> now, wait a minute, Mr. Socks Fox. When a fox is in the bottle where the Tweedle Beetles battle with their paddles in a puddle on a noodle eating poodle, this is what they call a Tweedle Beetle Noodle Poodle Bottle Paddle Muddle Duddle Fuddle Wuddle Fox in Socks, sir. <laughs> Fox and socks, our game is done, sir. Thank you for a lot of fun, sir. <laughs> he looks happy to walk away from that. And that's the end. Now is your tongue numb? Numb? <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. So that's the end of the book. I love you guys. And... I hope that you guys have a good dinner and that you have some sweet dreams. So I will say a prayer and we'll call it a night. Dear Heavenly Father, I'm so very grateful for my wonderful sons. 
Heavenly Father, I ask thee that you please bless them in all that they do, and please be with them and guide them in all their decisions. Heavenly Father, I ask that you protect my, my boys, that they may be protected, and Heavenly Father, I ask that you're always with them and help them have good dreams, and um, I hope I hope that you help, I hope that you let them feel how much their father loves them and appreciates them in his life. And I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Alrighty guys, I love you and good night.